All right, in previous videos, I showed you how to build at least the start of a quiz app. And essentially, you can ask a question and click next, and it goes to the next question. And like, for instance, the COBOL should be the answer here. If I click COBOL, it says correct. If I click something else, incorrect. OK, now the problem with this quiz so far is we always show the same answers for, for every question, right? The same answer choices. And really, we don't we don't want to do that, right? Like for Rosa Parks question, we want to have a bunch of cities here, and we only got one city. And putting COBOL as a possible answer is really stupid. Okay, but anyway, but you know, we're just showing you how to check answers, and we got that working. So now we got to go to the blocks, and we got to fix this. And what we're going to do is actually use a multiple, or sorry, a a list of lists. So we've got quite a bit of variables. Um, let me just kind of move some of this code down here. Screen dot opens and next button we don't have to worry about. And we've already kind of checked the answer. I think that's all working. But what we got to deal with is not only do we need an answer list, but we need another variable, which is kind of the answer choices list. Okay. And it's going to be a list of lists. So I'm going to grab this variable and I'm going to call it answer choices list. Okay, and you know it's going to be a list, and actually I'm just going to grab a list block um, from the screen. But what's what's going to be weird about it is we want a list of lists. So we do have you know four questions, right? Um, but for those four questions, what we want is each of them has it its own list of answers or answer choices. Okay, we've got this answer list, which is all the right answers. But we need to an answer choices list. And you know, I've got in my Google Doc over here, I've got some you know choices that make sense for each of the questions. And you're gonna have to come up with those yourself in terms of whatever quiz you, you want to build. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is stick these in basically as a sub list for every for every question. Okay, so in my answer choices list, this first item. It's kind of weird, but the first item itself is going to be a list. Um, and then I need to do the same thing for these other sub lists, basically. OK, so my answer choices list is a list of four lists. OK, and obviously I don't want these numbers in here. And um, what I do want is to actually put the, the text for the choices for, in this case, for question one, right? So I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna go over to my um, data and you know, I'm gonna grab these three questions. Knoxville is, is a wrong answer, but it's one of my choices. Montgomery, Alabama is the correct answer. Okay, and then finally, Houston, Texas is another wrong answer. Okay, one thing you want to be very careful about is make sure your right answer is exactly the same, no extra spaces or anything. In fact, you probably just want to copy it from here and paste it to make sure, sure that's true. Um, okay, so anyway, you need to do the same thing for the rest of these um, sublists. Okay. And uh, I'll just pause for just a second here. <clears throat> 